One of the easiest ways to add an object to an image is to use the custom shapes that come with Photoshop. If you haven't discovered the custom shapes, here's how to find them and apply them. You can use this image from the practice files to follow along, or any image of your own. In the Tools panel, go down to whichever shape tool is showing at the moment, and press and hold, and from the flyout menu, select the custom shape tool. Go up to the options bar for this tool, and over on the right, you'll find a shape picker. Click on the shape picker, and you'll see some icons of a few custom shapes, but there are lots more. If you click the gear icon on the right side of this drop-down panel, you'll find a long menu. From there, choose All. And that's going to bring in all these categories of custom shapes that you see listed here. If this message appears, click OK. Now go to the bottom right corner of the panel and drag down and to the right to stretch out the panel and see all the shapes that are there. My screen isn't large enough to show all of them, but there are many to explore. Since we're working on an image for a custom Taylor Enterprise, here's the perfect image, these scissors. And there are actually a couple scissors to choose from. I'm going to select this one by clicking on it. And then I'll click in a blank area to close the shape picker. Before I draw out a scissors shape with this custom shape tool, I'll take a look at the layers panel and I'll make sure that I've selected a layer above which I want the new shape layer that Photoshop will make to be created. I've got the background layer selected. I'll move into the image and I'm going to hold down the shift key to constrain proportions so the scissors aren't distorted. And then I'll click and drag and I have a scissors shape. I can change the size and the position and the color of this shape. Let's change the color to white. To do that I'll go over to the shape layer that just appeared in the layers panel and I'll double click the thumbnail on that shape layer to open the color picker and then I'll select white and I'll click OK. To make the scissors smaller I'll go up to the Edit menu and I'll choose Free Transform Path and then I'll hold down the Shift key to constrain proportions and I'll drag in to make the scissors smaller. When I think they're just about small enough I'll click inside of that box and drag to position the scissors where I want them, right there. And then to accept all those changes I'll go up to the Options bar and I'll click the big check mark. I'll go over to the Layers panel and I'm going to click on a layer other than the Scissors layer to see the result. So as you probably discovered, the Custom Shape tool works just like the Rounded Rectangle tool that we covered in the last video in this tutorial, as well as all of the other shape tools. The shape on this shape layer remains editable, so you can change the color, the size, the position, and more anytime you want, as long as you save in a format that retains layers, like the Photoshop or PSD format. So have fun exploring and applying a lot of the other custom shapes that come with Photoshop.